Hi, I'm David Martin, and I'm here at the Hollingsworth Dance Studio, and I'm with the couple, Amanda Witt and Michael Palmer, and their coach, Catherine Rotenbow. You got it right that time. Catherine. Yes. Can I dip you? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> And here we go! <laughs> At first they were different, but now they're pretty much the same. We did. We both went to Field Hall Collinsville High School. Same class? 98, 99. 99. It's a year apart, so. And did you know each other in high school? Mm -hmm. We did. You did? So did y'all hang out together? Did you, were you in clubs together? We were super nice to each other. We were friends, but we weren't as good of friends as we, we are, are now. Yeah, dancing has made us a lot closer friends. We're going hopping, we're going hopping today. We're going to the Philadelphia way. Biggest challenge for With them. this couple, mm -hmm. with Amanda and Michael. Um, strength. Is that Michael's strength or Amanda's strength? Michael's. <laughs> I are, are, say you, that are you saying Michael's a wimp? No. Oh, okay. No. Okay. It's just Amanda's the beast. Michael, what did the trainer do for you that Catherine, your coach, couldn't do for you? Well, he showed me a couple of things as far as positioning and momentum of my, not only myself, but of Amanda that would help me with the aerial lifts. Okay. He's a dude, Michael's a dude, so it, it helped, you know. One dude to another, you know. It's obvious to me that you all have become close as a couple because now Amanda's finishing your sentences for you. <laughs> However, on the dance floor, who's leading? Of course, me. I let her talk. I do the leading on the dance floor. Ah, so she's the talker. She's the, the talker. Leader. That's Does, debatable. <laughs> do you let him lead? I let him think that he leads. Okay. I know that I lead. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever and John Travolta. Well, that's all. who he's portraying. Does he have all the hip stuff yes. and the hands? Yeah, he Michael does has, pretty good. Michael has all that hip action. Yeah. What are your coworkers saying to you about this competition? Mine are laughing at me a little bit. Um, Why? Because there's been several days I've, it's been difficult for me to walk um, into the office. There's some of the things we've been doing, sliding on the floor, lifting, throwing, jumping. I'm a, you know, I work out, I run things, but this is totally different. I have a new respect for dancers. They work so hard. So, uh, will you have a cheering section the night that you dance I think from the so. chamber? I think so, and I have, um, I'm in Charity League, I know a lot of our Charity League girls are going, I know a lot of Michael's friends are going, yes, our yeah, church people. Church people, people in the community has been really supportive. Uh, David Lewis, who I work with at NCI, she participated in Dance for the Arts the first year that you did it, and she's been very encouraging, very inspiring, giving me words of encouragement on how enjoyable this was, because when I first signed up for it, I was like, it's probably why I used to sign up for the Marine Corps. <laughs> but now after, after this, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with my Thursdays and Saturdays after March 22nd. We're going to meet up with Catherine and dance still. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So. Yeah. 